What's up guys? Lots of things have changed since the last video. Um, I'll get into that a little bit later though. But for now, uh, one of the things I want to do so that I can bring my ships in and connect them, because I've been putting all my connectors on the bottom, is I need to go through and dig out below the frame here. So I can attach some conveyors to the bottom of the storage container and then put a connector on the landing pad itself. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. It's going to be a quick time lapse and then I will get into all the goodies that have happened once the sun is up. All right, what is up guys? Back at the old base and uh, you can already tell, I'm sure, that a lot of things have changed. Uh, the ship that I built before when I was looking for uranium actually got destroyed. I tried to make a base on the moon and space pirates just kept coming, coming, coming and just destroying everything so I came back to Earth and the ship right here I just built recently or started to build at least and then my friend built this one here crazy contraption has got a, a shield on it very cool and uh, he found uranium so we mined up a ton of it and there's still a lot left as well but uh, I got <clears throat> my new ship here which has no defense whatsoever so when when he found the uranium I tried to go in too but he had to fight off some space pirates because his ship has one two just one gun but because he has the shield he was able to fight the space pirates off the drones at least and uh, yeah so tons of uranium also he built these solar panels or uh, program them and yeah so these things bring in some pretty good power I moved the wind turbines over here because the turrets kept hitting it and I got a couple small reactors here and a nanite facility so a lot has happened uh, the nanite facility is kind of finicky. I haven't really figured out how exactly to use it. But this nanite facility did start building my friend's blueprint for his large ship here. We turned uh, the blueprint off because the nanite facility was taking so much power we just couldn't, couldn't handle it. But uh, yeah, so far it's built 
all of this not too bad so far uh, small reactor gyroscope yep yep actually that's probably so I was making reactor components before and they were disappearing and they were actually probably going to these because the nanites were taking it so that makes sense another yeah okay so yeah that's where they were going I thought my game was messed up because I, I scheduled 200 reactor components and they just like disappeared that explains it that's what <laughs> that's where they were going and then go to inventory and see the refinery is just cranking still have 348,000 uranium ores 200 uranium in here plus another couple hundred in these guys here that are off because I don't need them right now the nanite facility is off right now and I think that's about it really uh, that ship this ship is new it's the same old miner ship that we've had forever it's been sitting for a long time but uh, I'm gonna take this guy well no maybe I won't I'm gonna park him soon but I think what I want to do so I have three refineries and that's the other thing that's the other thing so I got three refineries and three assemblers worth of stuff in my inventory what I did is I went into the file itself for the game and kind of tweaked the settings a little bit so instead of ten times inventory for uh, personnel and blocks I cranked it to a hundred so my personal inventory can hold 40,000 liters that's a lot so I got like 4,000 steel plates on me some reactor components I don't need those but I got everything I need to build three refine full size refineries and three assemblers and I'm only a little over half now is it cheating yeah mm, no I don't think so I think it's just making the game a little bit easier for me because I can carry a lot more resources I think that's about it uh, I've been thinking about doing a video on showing how I did that and I also increased asteroid density in the space it's kind of a pain but I finally did figure it out and it's working so far um, what I want to do though is I think I'm actually going to take this guy apart here. So I'll take that uranium. I'm going to take this top one off because I don't need it. And go ahead and grind that guy down. And that should be everything I need for a small reactor. And that'll go to the, the new base. So I'm going to go put this guy in. So I have no power source up on the new base. So I'm going to put this small reactor in. And that should provide us with a decent amount of power. I think I'm going to put it right here. I'll have to access it from here. Go ahead and throw it in. Uranium. And we should be charging these guys up now. Cool. So we're inputting 3.7 megawatts on the four batteries that we have. I'm going to be putting a lot more batteries in as well. So it'll probably be one, two, and then a third here, and then two more here. To have like ten or so batteries for now. But so far, we're looking pretty good on the new base. I decreased the sun rotation interval so the days are shorter the nights are shorter kinda sucks I wish I could 
I wish it was possible to have longer days and shorter nights, but it's not possible because, come on, it's Space Engineers. It's pretty, I don't want to say realistic, but it's, it's close. Alright, so now that we have this small reactor there, and we are charging up pretty quickly, I want to, no. Probably going to end up needing more steel plates, but I do want to get at least one of the refineries in. And I want <coughs> the back of it to face towards the back, and that way I can put my upgrades in. So I'm going to put, um, probably put this a little bit further back. one here this thing's so tall I'm gonna have to dig out more of this rock but build up some of the base a little bit more These things are really tall. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and dig out some more up here. And then dig out right here. should be enough room for a second refinery. So I'll go ahead and put right there. So two refineries compared to the one that I have at the old base. And then I can always oh my energy is ugh, suit's low. Now I'm going to put a bunch of upgrades on the back of these guys and get some more speed out of them. Um, I think... So I have to attach some conveyors, but I will probably attach them to the tops. It's probably the best thing to do. Connect them on the top and kind of enclose this a little bit more. But I do need to recharge my energy suit, and the sun is shining pretty hard right now. So the panels are facing towards the sun, and getting as much power out as they can, which is wonderful. So we're going to climb into here. Alright, so I think I'm going to take the ship and park it at the new base. That way I can just hop in and recharge. But, let's see, so auto and then on. And park. Go ahead and park this guy into our little area if it fits. I'm not sure it's going to fit. Oh yeah, it should fit. We'll come in. turn my thrusters off and there we go so I'll be able to recharge just by going into the cockpit and it fits really nicely actually I like that that's good I'm gonna go ahead and connect 
to the um, refineries should be interesting mm. so I'm gonna do a junction on this one as well as on this one so I'll do the junctions that way I have more ports available weld those up and then I'm gonna figure out how to connect these There we go, connected. Weld this guy up real quick. I think I have enough to weld it up. Cool. Alright, so we're connected here, there, all the way across to the refinery. Both refineries should be connected. Now we're going to have to figure out how to get the assemblers connected up. And I don't think... I do want to put a third refinery because we'll be getting tons of resources on a... Like when I take the ship out into space, I'm going to be coming back with loads and loads and loads of resources. And we want to be able to get them refined up as fast as possible. Okay. So mine up right here. So I got the fully fully updated tools, which is awesome. There we go. It's pretty close, but I do want to clear up a little bit more. There we go. Should be enough room. But I want to go get a bunch of steel plates real quick. Uh, so, yeah, there's tons and tons of space part. Processing station, defense installation. Just tons and tons of things around. So a fighter ship is going to be coming fairly soon. You know, with missiles and everything, so... That's probably going to be the next episode. So I got 1600. Grab all those. And that way we can build what we need to build. Uh, my friend was working on like a fighter ship, but he was having troubles. That's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and head back over here. I do need to get a survival kit or actually a medical room probably something that I'm gonna end up building into here but there's a lot of digging that's gonna be necessary to fit all the the components and stuff that I need uh, struggling a bit so I'm actually gonna dig some of this out real quick out 
There we go. A little bit more room. But I think I'm going to have to dig as I go. There we go. And that should give me enough room to build the next. Refinery. Ooh, I don't have enough motors. Crap. Okay. So these are, so it's connected there and then they're all connected. So it should be pretty good. Uh, so I'm wondering, like it's gonna pull the ores, refine them and everything. And I wonder if I should put like a sorter and then ship the stuff back over to the storage or if it'll be fine the way it is and then just link up the assemblers. I don't know. I think that should be okay. Let me go grab all the resources that I need left to get a little bit more work done and I'll be right back. Damn, so this thing is coming along pretty nicely. You can fit my ship in here no problem. Be able to put a new port on this side for my friendship gonna be getting all sorts of resources and stuff alright so I grabbed some more motors Let's see if we can finish this guy up <clears throat> so that's finished up we have a port down on the bottom side here I'm gonna go ahead and Fill some more of this up. Some more of the floor done. And there's quite a bit of digging that I need to get done. So I think I'm going to do a... It's going to be the second time lapse inside this video alone. But uh yeah I gotta get some of this dug out so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick while the sun's up and shining it's probably gonna be dark towards the end of this but that's fine Alright, that should be enough room for now. Uh, what I want to do, see what the assembler looks like. So, I got upgrade port there, there. these upgrade ports work on these things but we do have large ports on the bottom side so I could put them in like this we got three of these though so I think I might do this. One, two, three. And then I'll just 
connect the conveyors there and then that'll leave all the upgrade slots open. I should have everything I need for these guys. Cool. So three assemblers and three refineries. That's a lot more than the old base has. And then I will go ahead and do a junction and a tube. Ooh. So I need small steel tubes. That's fine. So we got three assemblers and three refineries. So we're looking good. Go ahead and grab those small steel tubes real quick. And things are looking good for the new base. But it's going to take a long time to get all this stuff moved. I have so many items. Tons of iron. Just everything up in this thing. So we need some small steel tubes. So apparently I don't have small steel tubes. Um... I'll go ahead and produce a bunch of them. So we got those guys, and then I think I want to make a. I kind of want to make a medical room, but I don't think I'm going to yet. Because we're pretty close. This base is pretty close to the other one, so. I got the small steel tubes, and I should hopefully have everything else that I need. But I want to get these assemblers built. Well, they're built, but I want to get them hooked up, so. No way. I was just there. So it looks like I'm going to have to move all the items pretty soon. That's definitely going to be off camera, though, because we have a lot. And that's going to be a lot of runs. But apparently I need interior plates. Which I know I have. Let's grab all them all. Okay. Now. I should have what I need. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this guy. So that's done. These are all done. It should be working for the most part. What I'm going to do, actually, I want to go to space. And I want to get some more stuffs. I'm going to go ahead and throw whatever's in my inventory in. And I feel like going to space. I, I just feel like going to space, honestly. So... I'm good there. Let me check my. We got tons of ice. I'm good to go. So yeah, I want to go to space and get some more stuff. So auto, on, on park, back out. Good to go. So where? So uranium is there. So I'm just gonna go straight for it until my heat tells me otherwise but I should so I can hold about 400,000 my ship is 63 so I should be able to hold about 350,000 and fly back safely Alright, so we're flying pretty dang fast, and as you can see, there's asteroids everywhere. All over. So, I'll, there might be uranium on the ones that I'm flying past, that's fine. But, I'm going towards the one that I know has uranium in it. I'm kind of 
flying a little bit too fast and I just passed it that's fine there we go hopefully no drones come this way because I am not equipped for them and I think it was inside this hole so I'm gonna come in nice and slow Was it this hole? I think it was. Where was it? Oh, is this asteroid moving? Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and mine up as much of this stuff as I can. I know that I already have like 300 and something thousand in the old base, but you can never have too much uranium. That is for sure. And I think I'm actually, I'll probably end up putting small reactors on this ship once I like when I go to put armor plating on it and everything I'll probably put some small reactors on it I'm gonna mine up as much of this stuff as I can I'll be right back so here's the base but we're gonna go to the new base and hook up and see if the uranium comes out on its own and see if I don't know if it's gonna like distribute between all the refineries if it does that's super cool if not that's fine that's something I will kinda manually control if I have to so we'll come in So we came back to Earth just fine. There we go. Hit P. Check our inventory and see if we're okay. So we are draining. Oh, it is splitting it up. But wait, where's the uranium going? Is that going in? Is it going into the reactor? Assembler, assembler, refinery, refineries. Oh, it is going into there. That's super cool. Okay. So it does split it up between the refineries. And goes straight into the reactor. That's freaking awesome, dude. Hell yeah. Okay. That's awesome. Hell yeah. So, I did not expect to be able to hook up and all the stuff distribute evenly into the three refineries. And not only that, like the uranium's going into them and it's going straight into the reactor. That's freaking awesome, dude. Hell yeah. All on this one little conveyor system up here. That is that that makes me really happy. Now, okay, so how many steel plates do I have in the inventory? Enough. So what I'm gonna do 
since that's that's processing right now and that's freaking awesome like I'm super excited for this new base I'm gonna start laying out some more plate for protection oh that's fine and then I think an opening of two by two is enough down there and then I'll just go ahead and wrap the rest of this and I think there's a way to like hold and draw in place but I don't know how to do that so I'm still doing you know just clicking individually but I am so so happy that it distributes evenly throughout the three refineries so like this stuff it's gonna take a while to process I'm gonna put some speed upgrades on it though. And get rid of this guy. But yeah, I'm gonna put some efficiency and speed upgrades on the refineries and get those things cooking a little bit faster. But man, I am super happy that they distribute. Like that's the biggest thing I was wondering is like will they will they distribute? I'll go ahead and do this back portion. But yeah. I'm very excited. Very, very excited. And I'm gonna put some color on this base at some point, but for now I'm gonna leave it the way it is. So there's that first portion. And I'm very happy that I have the upgraded tools as well. So welding doesn't take nearly as long as it did before. Welding up and done. I'm gonna put some more lights into the probably this is gonna be like the hangar bay. I think so. So I'll probably go up. I'll probably go one more block higher. Would be one, two, three. So six blocks high. And that's plenty of room for my little spaceship. That brought me insane amounts of uranium. I'm so happy. I don't have to worry about solar panels and wind turbines and all that stuff. However, I'm going to be putting like a really large solar panel tower somewhere that's connected to this base. For those off times where I'm not processing and building. And I can run on just solar panels. It's awesome. So there we go. There's that. So how much uranium do I have so far? Probably a good amount. 95. Man. Okay. Oh, I got a lot. So it's processing it faster than it can be put into the reactor. But that's okay. That's awesome. Super awesome. So I got power. The inside's looking pretty good. Pretty good. Alright. So I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. 
hope you enjoy watching these things. If you're still watching, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that like button. It helps me out quite a bit. But yeah, things are looking really good. Um, yeah, I don't want to talk too much, but catch you guys on the next episode.